regulators seize the troubled First Republic Bank. And as CBS's Weijia Jiang reports, J.P. Morgan Chase, America's biggest bank. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back again. New video. So we got to talk. 3:45 a.m. They announced J.P. Morgan is acquiring First Republic. So J.P. Morgan is a mega, mega bank, mega bank. Um, if you don't know, I'm Ashley Pickens. I'm here in Memphis, Tennessee. I've been in real estate 16 years. I got licensed in 2006, baby. 2006. So your girl has seen some things. So yes, second largest bank failure in our nation. First largest was Washington Mutual um, in 2008. Guess who bought Washington Mutual? J.P. Morgan. Guess who buying First Republic? J.P. Morgan. Mm. Mm. They always going to call J.P. Baby, they're going to call him to bail the bank out. So he even said, the CEO even said he was the first, and I quote, he was the first call that was made. There were other people in the runnings, like PNC and Citizens Financial also made bids for First Republic, but J.P. Morgan beat them out. So, fun fact, First Republic is a spinoff from Merrill Lynch. If you know anything about the 2008 financial crisis, Merrill Lynch, Lehman Brothers, all those very heavy subprime holders they had a whole bunch of subprime mortgages and they went under merrill lynch went under i think bank of america acquired merrill lynch but first republic is a spinoff from merrill lynch look how things come in full circle mm -hmm. okay so first republic let's do a little background i'm not gonna keep you all day but let's do a little background first republic bank founded in 1985 14th largest bank in the u.s so at 3 45 this morning 3 45 a.m they announced that they were going to be you know jp morgan is acquiring them right so how did we get here how did we get here so anyway how did this happen first of all y'all first of all when the bank started collapsing back in march come on we all knew it was going to be like a ripple effect. Even though the news was saying everything's fine, everybody's deposit is safe, we all know everybody was side-eyeing the banking industry, even me and my little bank. Y'all, because let's be honest, everybody, when those banks started collapsing, we were all looking at our coins, even though my little baby bank deposits, I'm like, not my $100. Not my, not, not my $100 in the bank. You know, so I can only imagine if you had millions and billions in the bank, you know, it was some golf course conversations being had, baby. Bob and Jim, they was one o'clock in the morning. Meet me at the golf course because we got to talk. It's one o'clock in the morning. Meet me at the golf course. We got to talk about what we going to do with our coins. So, look, let's see. Let's, let's just see what happens, you guys. So, while the news was saying everything was fine, First Republic lost they had people pulled out a hundred billion dollars in deposits in March because they, it was getting real shaky in these streets, in these banking streets. A hundred billion dollars worth of deposits. So, you know, it was basically a run on the bank. They didn't say that in the news, though, did they? We didn't hear about that in the news. So, you know, it's a, like 2023 run on the bank in 1924. Two different types of runs on the banks. Because in 1924, you got to go to the bank. You got to fill out a withdrawal slip. You know what I mean? You got to manually pull your money out. In 2023, we just hop on here and transfer some money. And our money is transferred. You know what I mean? So $100 billion in deposits withdrawn, withdrawals in March. So that basically tanked their company stocks fell by 62%. You know, their earnings were down 40% in the first quarter. So they were just downhill. And, you know, I think they were getting money. I think a couple of the big banks tried to loan them money. Um, one bank gave them like a line of credit. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, it was just not enough, y'all. It was just not enough. So, and y'all, let's not forget the feds are supposed to be meeting this week. We're going to see if the interest rates go up, if this is going to have any impact on the interest rates because you know everybody kind of in a calamity right now calamity. so we're gonna see if the feds still raise those rates if they're staying on track with raising rates even with the banks and all this or are these lending restrictions about to tighten up some more 
to, you know, prevent this from happening. You know, it's just, you just never know what's going to happen. You never know. But I know it's a whole lot of chatter going on in some back rooms and on some golf courses and in some country clubs. I know that. So, you know, of course, everybody's been watching over the weekend to see if it was going to go into receivership. It did. For all of you who don't know what receivership is, the best way I can explain it is like, I'm not going to say bankruptcy for a bank, but it's when a, like the FDIC came in or like a third party comes in and they take over the bank basically, right? And they look at all your paperwork, look at your assets. They sell what they can sell to get your debts paid off, basically. When a bank goes into receivership, all the shareholders and investors, most of the time, they lose their money. They lose their coins. If you are a shareholder or an investor in First Republic, you done lost your coins. Their coins is gone. So that's what happens. And then the bank went into receivership and then they worked out a deal with JP Morgan. And now JP Morgan has acquired First Republic. So now all of the branches, I think they had 84 branches, which are now, you know, will be under the brand or trademark of jp morgan they will open up as jp morgan chase um i think first republic tried to save their bank they were going to lay off like 20 25 percent of their employees you know to cut costs but it, you know it was just too late you guys too late so the announcement came at 3 45 this morning so now you know when it's mm, I heard somebody said on the news this morning, you know, it's easier, it's easier to, prevent to prevent a forest, a forest fire, fire than it, it is, is to is stop to one stop once, once it starts. Start. You know what I mean? And I think, I don't know if that's going to be a metaphor for what's to come, but you know, where there's one, there's two, where there's two, there's three, you know, and again, we didn't hear about the run on the bank for First Republic. I didn't hear about it. Maybe y'all heard about it, but who knows what's going on? You know, it's some conversations going on right now, since this is the second largest bank collapse in history so now with jp morgan acquiring first republic now jp is like a huge a big 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 bank at this point they hold more than 10 percent of the nation's deposits huge bank you know what i mean and that's usually not how it works it's regulations on that you can hold deposits in that amount if it's organic like people come in the bank open accounts organic but not by acquiring you're not supposed to be able to hold more than 10, you know, 10% of our nation's deposits. Unless the government call you up and say they need your help. So I think JP Morgan and Wells Fargo hold more than 10% of our nation's deposits. So they ain't never going under. Like they ain't never going under. Like their CEO got plenty of money. Plenty of money. They probably give like continents for Christmas presents. You know what I mean? Like they got plenty of money. You know what I mean? Um, it's always, you know, like you just, you just never know. Like, I feel like a lot of these, well, we know this, y'all, we know this, you know, people don't always tell the truth, especially when it's money involved, you know, like the writing was probably on the wall. The writing is on the wall for a lot of banks, but you know, when you got regulators who playing golf with the bank owners and the CEO, you know what I mean? Like you will overlook some stuff until, you know, you'll sh sugarcoat some until it hit the fan, you know what I mean? No, so I'll just see how many more banks crumble after this. Um, we're supposed to be going into a recession. You know, that's the trigger word that we're not supposed to say. But, you know, we'll just see. Are they going to tighten lending restrictions? You know, everybody's watching the commercial real estate market right now. Um, a lot of these buildings are sitting vacant. A lot of these commercial loans are going to be due in the next couple of years here. You know, a lot of people didn't go back to work after COVID. So it's a lot of things going on in the world of real estate right now. But right now, that's the biggest First Republic, second largest bank failure in our history. Craziness. So we've had like, what, four banks fail in the last, what, three months? Like, I don't know. Like, I hope it's not foreshadowing. You know what I mean? Like, but when it's smoke, it's fire. When it's smoke, it's fire. So, um, hopefully that helps you understand what's going on with First Republic. We will see what happens. Um, and you guys, stay tuned. I'll be back with some more real estate news. What's going on? I'll try to keep you up to date because I'm watching and learning and reading every second that I get. So, 
like comment subscribe do all the things i'll be back i'm on instagram your agent ashley and as always thank you so much for watching